Maranatha Baptist Church in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. I think it's still there. It's a casino now. But I'm kidding, it's not. It's a still church. But uh, we, uh, I remember I went and, uh, and I, I heard the Sunday school lessons on Noah. I heard the Sunday school lessons, all those things. Easter service about Jesus dying on the cross. I heard all that. And then one day, I remember I was six years old, I was listening to a song. My mom had a Christian song on the radio or something. And it just struck me that my brother had done something and I had lied about him. I have an older brother, and, uh, you know, older brothers are the worst. You kind of get an amen on that. But anyway, um, I, uh, I, I had lied about my brother, and I remember just feeling so miserable about it. And it just hit me that I'm going to have to pay for that. I lied to my parents and before God, and I, it really hit me like this fear of, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And I remember I, I asked my mom, I said, Mom, can you show me how I can know for sure I'm going to heaven? March 26, 1991. So she took me back to our Amen. bedroom there, and she showed me some Bible verses like I showed you today. I knelt beside my bed. I remember I was crying, I was, uh, and I accepted Jesus as my Savior. And I prayed that night and just said, Lord, forgive my sins. Be my savior. I, I'm not, you know, I, basically I'm not trusting in being a good person to get me to heaven. That doesn't work. I'm not trusting in going to church to get me to heaven. That doesn't work. The Bible says it's only by Jesus, only by his, by his grace that he has given. And I remember, like, I got off my knees that day, and I felt so good. I remember, like, I, you know, the, 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 the roof didn't open and angels descend upon me. There was nothing happening like that. I didn't see a vision. But I knew there was a guilt, there was a weight lifted off my chest. As a six-year-old, I can still remember 31 years ago, I remember the feeling. And I ran out, and, I, and my dad was in the living room, and he never went to church. And I ran out, and I jumped on his lap, and I said, Dad, when are you going to get saved? And I began to just cry. It just hit me that I'm going to heaven, and my dad's not. And it hit me so hard. Fast forward to my senior year of high school, my dad accepts Christ as a Savior. As a 47-year-old man. Fast forward six years later, I got to baptize my dad in our home church in Illinois. That's a wonderful thing. And I will tell you today that if you, you don't have to get baptized, go to heaven. You don't have to go to church to go to heaven. We think, well, i got to do something. No, 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 no. There's only two things you can do. You, there's only two religions in this entire world. I'm going to help you out with this and I'm done. There's only two things in this entire world you can believe about heaven. Either you have to do work or the work was done for you. Amen. And every other religion says you got to do something. You got to join the church. You got to you got to give. You got to tie. You got to help people across the street. You got to serve. You got to do this. You got to become a member. You got to you got to pray a certain prayer. You got to go to a certain. That's doing something. And Jesus said that by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. It's not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to His mercy has He had you saved us. And it's spinning kind of in the face of God to say that I can work my way to heaven. When Jesus died on the cross saying you can't, I am paying for your sin. So one of two things. It's either you believe you can earn your way to heaven by doing something or by realizing that the work was already done on the cross of Calvary by Jesus Christ. And all you got to do is say, yes, I want that. I don't, have to, I don't have to work my way to heaven. I don't have to do any of that. But I have to accept him. So today as we're closing our service, for the fifth time as I close, <laughs> I wonder.